exactly why I'm screaming. And if you recall, even the law that says 1993 election should hold, if you recall, that law ousted the jurisdiction of the court to give any order to stop it. Just as it is in our laws today. And yet a judge went ahead because some military boys did not want the election again. They wrote the law and they used the instrumentality of the court to want to destroy the election. But something happened. The neck then under Professor Wos refused and they went ahead to conduct the election. And the election was conducted and a winner emerged. Then the same military boys went and forcefully stopped the announcing of the result. Still wanting to use the court. And this is where Humphrey was who lost it. He would have proceeded to complete the announcement and announce the result. Why run away and chicken out and many years after, even after when the man had died, you are coming to say you are announcing he won. No. If you want to do the right thing, do the right thing no matter the consequences. If you don't want to do the right thing, keep quiet and keep quiet forever. That's why when people want to marry, they will say, if you know anything that wants to stop this people to marry, come and talk or forever remain silent. From now onwards in Nigeria, if you're given a duty, do it. Whoever wants to stop you, say no. Go ahead and do it. That's the only way we can be saved from this cup of leaders. They don't have conscience. They don't respect the rules. And they want to corrupt everybody. So please. If Mosu refused to obey the injunction not to conduct the election and proceeded to conduct the election and started announcing the result, he wouldn't have succumbed to the blackmail of the military boys then. We have proceeded to complete the announcement and announce the widow and finish his job. And whatever happens to him, he would have known he has done his job. That is what Sinfubara is doing. He said, if you shoot me, go ahead. You will go down in history as the most wicked and callous IGP that killed Fubara. When you want to take over the leadership of your place or you want to represent your people, what were you thinking? You think leadership is a common case? No. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Whenever you are in leadership. Look at what happened to Donald Trump. In America, where security is everywhere. Yet, two times now, they wanted to kill him. Every profession has its own risk. If you are not willing to take the risk that is attached to any profession, step aside so that people who are giving that mind by God will go ahead and serve God in that capacity if you're an actor and an actress and you say you're not going to hug babes and you're not going to kiss them step aside <laughs> because that's that's what the job is don't come and say you're a born again Christian <laughs> that's what the job entails for a politician and you can't stand for your people that voted for you and because you don't want to die step aside and I said any politician that is not behaving like Simfubara, who will resist and protest when his rights are trampled upon, knowing that our judicial system, knowing that our electoral system have failed us, that any politician who will not stand his ground, no matter the risk to his person, I said, I will not speak for that politician again. And I maintain it. And you can see what is happening because we can't go forward. We calm down. If Simfubara has been saying, calm down, calm down, do you know where River State would have been? He said he's ready for them. He's fully prepared. The election must go on. The election must hold. Winners must be declared. They will be sworn in. And whatever is going to happen, let it happen. I am looking for leaders. Who would say nobody will rig my election and if you rig my election i will fight nigerians come out and fight if they kill anybody let them kill all of us 
oh yes and thank god i'm seeing it happen what fubara did was he advocating for violence was he advocating that the law should be broken no he was advocating for his right that's my opinion that's my advocacy we must advocate for our right and stand by it i did not disqualify anybody i don't have that right i said i am not going to speak for anybody going forward except this person meets this criteria in any case we have finished 2023 election it's over 2027 election has not come so anybody who is saying betrayer betrayer what am i betraying there is nothing on ground when i was a spokesman in 2023 i did my job creditably well and we convinced nigerians on what we believe is right but you can see that in nigeria you not only have to have the power to win election you have to have the power to defend your election so anybody that does not have that spirit or power to defend the votes in a manner that you would say whatever happens to me as a person let it happen i am not willing to speak any further for the person so what i just simply said is that going forward i will no longer be part of this until these fears are addressed so i did not disqualify anybody one i don't have that power then two i am not betraying anybody because i am still a member of labor party and you can see i'm still fighting the Labour Party should be consolidated because Nigerians are looking for an alternative to these people. But if you want to fight these people who are compulsive thieves and who are the worst amongst us, leading us, according to Sidetan Ndume, who is part of them, then you have to grow higher and be more aggressive than calm down. That's what I said, and I stand by it.